This one is going to be different. This is going to be Star Trek The Next Generation. And we're going to be looking at the brand new reissue from Playmates of the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. So without further ado, let's go over to the desk where there's more room and there's more light. And I'm going to show you guys the reissue from Playmates. Okay, so I ordered this off of Amazon. And let's see, how can I open up this box? Okay, let's... And it's worth noting they're using the same box art as they did for the original release. So that's it for the box. Let's toss that. All right, let's take a look at this. Sweet. This is our beloved USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. And you can see the, the front of the box. You can see the just beautiful ship. Look at the Azteking. Captain's yacht going down. We have the saucer pylon and we got the deflector dish. And um, let's see if it works. Got the red alert. The card saying engage. And the photon torpedoes. So we got the dual light up engines, authentic starship sounds and phrases, highly detailed 15 inch replica of the Starship Enterprise, saucer section separation, and display stand included. So that's the big difference with this one is that the saucer section actually um, separates from the secondary hull. So that's the front of the box. Let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys the ends. Keep in mind, this is a reissue. This is not the original. Looking at the side of the box, or the end, you can see Star Trek The Next Generation, Space The Final Frontier, Starship Enterprise, dual light up engines, authentic Starship sounds and phrases, highly detailed 15 inch replica of the Starship, Enterprise saucer section separation, and includes display stand. So this is nice. This is something that will be completely different from the previous issue. They're same um, on both ends of the box. Looking over to the side now, it's pretty much the same as it was on the end. It's just larger, same uh, features, the same picture of the Enterprise separation. And the other side of the box shows you that this is item TKT3215. And this is from the new Star Trek universe from Playmates. With the Star Trek The Next Generation logo, Space The Final Frontier. And this is 2023. This requires three uh, AAA batteries, and they're included. And you guys can see the barcode. All right, looking at the back of the box now, you can see where there's more of the information we get the beautiful picture of the model and this one is more realistic you notice the front of the box it's got all the ass teching and everything this is probably the way the model is going to look so you can see there's no ass teching um i don't see a phaser array i don't see a phaser array on the bottom of the ship um but this is the finished model. When sounds are activated, the engine and cells light up. Press the buttons to activate the weapon system sounds and command phrases. And you can see the other things that um, they've um, issued in the past from Playmates. I have shown you the communicator. I've shown you the phaser and I've shown you the enterprise and I've shown you the reissue of the Starship Enterprise. So looking at some of the parts of the ship, you can see where the 10 forward is, the lifeboat stations, the saucer module, reaction control thrust thruster, saucer sensor platform, the main bridge. I don't know why they would have the main bridge all the way over there, but you guys know where the main bridge is in the center of the top of the saucer section. We've got the forward photon torpedo launcher. And I don't see that there yet. We've got the photon exhaust and the navigational deflector. 
and it's got a little bit of information with the log on. USS Enterprise NCC 1701-D. Now the Enterprise history, the first Federation Starship USS Enterprise was NCC 1701 and that was a Constitution class. The second starship with that name was the Enterprise NCC 1701-A and again that was a Constitution class. Then they go to the third ship named Enterprise and that would be the B, the NCC 1701-B and that was an Excelsior class. The fourth Federation ship to bear the name would be the C, the NCC 1701-C and that was the Ambassador class. Currently, the USS Enterprise, the NCC 1701-D, is a Galaxy-class starship built by the Utopia Planitia Fleet Yards on Mars, and this was commissioned in 2363. Current commander is Jean-Luc Picard, and now they actually have the Enterprise G, which is commanded by Captain Seven. When would you guys think we would have a Borg? commanding the flagship of the Federation. All right, anyway. The current USS Enterprise is a galaxy-class starship powered by impulse and warp drive engines. It is the hallmark of spaceship systems design. The USS Enterprise is the most powerful and advanced starship the Federation has ever built. Equipped with the least warp drive technology, the latest, excuse me, the USS Enterprise can reach a top speed equal to 1,909 times the speed of light. Now that's pretty fast. The cruise velocity of the Starship Enterprise averages warp in factor 6, with a crew complement of 1,012, which includes families and children. The USS Enterprise ranks as the largest ship in the galaxy. Through the vessel has four, four um, excuse me, the vessel has 42 decks. 35% of the internal volume is reserved for future expansion and mission specific functions. The structure of the ship's hulls are supported by energy fields which tighten and flex as necessary. The USS Enterprise is protected by deflector shields capable of withstanding blasts from enemy vessels. An array of phasers and photon torpedoes makes the Enterprise battle ready. If evacuation of the Starship Enterprise becomes necessary, the saucer module is capable of atmospheric entry and terranian touchdown. Further access denied. Log off. And that's going to bring us full circle to this model of the Enterprise again. So why don't we go ahead now we're going to open up the box. Just go ahead and keep that out. Okay, so we have the little the little flap. Let's see if I can get that without marking it up. And, yeah, of course not. All right, let's open up the box. And one of the best differences that I'm noticing from this one from the ones of the past is, you know, they would have the they would have the cardboard with all the twist ties everywhere. Now they have a plastic tray. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, we're going to put the box back and you can use it as a backdrop. Okay, so when it comes to the, to the model, it does have some paperwork. So let me show you guys this. We got the Star Trek The Next Generation Space the Final Frontier. If the Enterprise is not working, try resetting it. To reset the unit, turn to off and then turn to on. The Enterprise is still not working, try replacing the batteries. Okay, so it shows you a diagram of where the, the, um, the compartment is. It takes three AA batteries. We unscrew the battery cap, take out the old batteries, replace with three AAA batteries, and replace the cap. Do not use rechargeable batteries. Different types of batteries mix old and new in the same kind of um, cautionary information. Warning. Changes or modifications to this unit expressive, um, are not expressively approved by the party responsible for compliance could void the user's authority to operate the equipment. Okay, that's just more. Um, what else they got? FCC regulations. 
Okay, let's just go ahead and check it out. There's nothing on the back, so when it comes to the Enterprise, I'm wondering, is it separate? So I'm thinking that the only section that's going to have the, um, I guess the saucer section is not going to do anything when it's separated for the, there's no power to it. Assemble the saucer section onto the body of the Enterprise as shown. You will hear a slight click. Pull gently on the saucer section to make sure it's locked into place. This is a lot like the Diamond Select. I've shown you guys the Diamond Select Enterprise D and that's a, an amazing model. And when the magnets come together, it makes the sound effect of the way it did in the counter of Farpoint when the saucer section meets back up with the star drive. Assemble, assemble the display stand by snapping the base and the arm of the stand is shown. Insert the connector on top of the stand into the bottom of the ship. And you can see the buttons. Press one of the three buttons to activate the ship sounds. Lights will come on for a few seconds. Ship commands. Bridge sounds and red alert and phaser and photon torpedoes. To separate the saucer section, hold the saucer and press the button on the main body of the ship. Pull the saucer section out, you will hear the saucer separation sound. To power up, move switch from demo to off position to on. Lights will come on for a few seconds. And again, this is 2023 Paramount Playmates Toys. All right, so let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun. So let's get the... All right, I'll take the star drive out first. want to be careful so here we go so checking out the secondary hull you can see where the photon torpedo uh, launcher is I couldn't see it on the box and this is what they were talking about so we have demo mode so let's go ahead we're gonna put it off usually um, the, the switch would have been in the battery compartment but it's actually on the, uh, the bottom of the secondary hull. Um, there's a little bit of writing on here. The device complies with the FCC rules, regulations, sort of that kind of thing. Um, the CE battery information. You can see they have the um, phaser arrays on the bottom. Maybe I'll touch these up in light gray, just to bring them out a little bit. And you can see the escape pods. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and paint the escape pods and the phaser rays. It would bring just a little bit more of the detail out. And interesting note in this release, in the previous issues we had them that came with a, with a sticker sheet and we would peel and stick, put the stickers on. These, everything is already on, so there's no sticker sheet at all, just the, uh, the instructions. You can see the Enterprise NCC 1701D, and again, we'll do the phaser arrays. You can see the, the Bessard collectors on either side, the nacelles. I just never get tired of looking at the Enterprise. Okay, let's turn her on. So the lights come on for a minute for a few seconds. Coming around, you can see the deflector dish, that beautiful blue. Love it. All right, and this is the button that we would push when we separate the saucer section. So, when you look inside, you can see when you push down, there's a little, a little catch that'll allow it to break off. So this isn't magnetic like the Diamond Select. Let's see. Let's do a sound where they're separated. Lock on, hold on, torpedoes. And I like the fact that the lights stay on. She's beautiful. All right. Five. Engage. Red alert. Raise the shields. Lock on photon torpedoes. 
So it sounds like there's five different options for the first button. It's the middle button. So the middle bob, the middle button has two options or sounds. Let me get the photon torpedoes. With the phasers. All right, so we got the phasers and the photon torpedoes. So we got two, five, five, six, seven. We got about nine different sounds. So, showing you guys, you can see all the windows on the sides of the um, primary, the, excuse me, the dorsal hull. And these are the shuttle bays. Um, there's actually two and three and one is on the back of the top of the primary hull. You can see the back going down where the um, photon torpedo launcher all right, let's check out the saucer section. Let's put this on the side. And I didn't even, it was, it's clear, so I almost didn't even notice it. No, let's, let's take out the, uh, the stand. So, obviously there's another piece, there's an arm, it's probably under the saucer section. So let me, let's get this out. And the last thing is that arm. So let's go ahead and get the arm out. And gotta be careful not to break it. There we are. Nice clear acrylic. And that's everything in the tray. So let's go ahead and when you put it together, it clicks into place just like that. It's as simple as that. Bring this up, and there's a little pin that's gonna go right in the bottom, right the behind the deflector dish. Just like that. So for now, we'll leave it like that, and let's check out the primary hull. So you can see the, um, the phaser array. They have it like a, like a brownish color. And you know, they actually did paint all of the escape pods and they did a great job. I wish they would have done that on the whole ship because the escape pods on here aren't painted. So maybe it might be not, bad, not a bad idea. Maybe we can paint them. I'll do it myself. So looking at the top, you can see the, um, the escape pods moving in towards the bridge. And you got B and C decks coming around to the back. You can see where the shuttle bay one would be. And looking at back, we have the impulse engines on either side. And you can see where the runway would be to guide the shuttle craft or the, the type of craft landing inside of the shuttle bay. And we have the windows. So this is pretty nice. I like the way it looks. All right, let's looking at the bottom. When you look at the top and then you look at the bottom, it's almost like this one came from the factory and they forgot to do the bottom. I, I can't believe I'm gonna say this guys, but the phaser array on the top of the ship is raised and it's beautifully done. 
They don't even have a phaser array on the bottom because it would be right here. And none of the escape pods are painted and none of the windows are painted. Like I said, it's almost like they, they did the top. They got the top beautiful and then they forgot to do the bottom half. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna attach it now. Let me see, let's get it back off of the stand. So when it comes to attaching, you guys remember an encounter at Farpoint. The first time we see the Enterprise D, um, the captain orders Commander Riker to do it manually to reconnect both halves of the ship. So, adjust the angle by 15 degrees. I'm trying to do it by memory. You can see on here there are two pins, and those pins are going to be the contact pins. That's where the power is going to go through to light up the ship, or this section of the ship. You can see where they're going to go in, and everything is going to glide into place, just like that. Just like that. And it locks into place. Let's just make sure. Yep. So the little hook, the little catch came up on the bottom and hooked it into place. So I think th this is beautiful. They did a great job on the top of the ship. I, I just wish they would have done the bottom as well because it, it, it doesn't look finished. It was almost like they had, they were in a rush to get the, um, to get this into production. And not only did they neglect to do the the um, the escape pods they neglected to mold the um, phaser array onto the bottom of the ship I mean I still like it it's the Enterprise but I, I wish it would have been they would have finished the job let's go ahead and see if that lights up now let's push the button ooh that's a nice touch I didn't expect that beautiful look the bridge lights up B deck C deck all light up. I love it. That looks pretty cool. Um, the bottom doesn't look like it lights up, but let's check. Nope, so nothing from the bottom lights up. You can see the captain's yacht, but that's only because of the light for the top. Phasers, photon torpedoes, so that's disappointing, the, the, uh, the impulse engines don't light up, I was hoping they did. I like the fact that the bridge, well not the bridge, but B and C decks light up. I would have taken the trade off if they would have had the impulse engines light up instead. Perfect world, they, everything would have lit up. The lights on B and C decks as well as the bridge and the impulse engines, but it is what it is. And if you want to put it on your stand, this is how you go about doing it. So you take. The curve will be facing forward. It's got a little, it's, it's the shape of a square and it goes right in. And this is like a little, a little socket, ball and socket that's on the ship. And this gets put onto the stand base. I just wanna make sure I don't, uh, yeah. Just like that there and what I'll do is I'll take you in a minute I'll take you off of the the, uh, the tripod and we'll go around 
Let me see if there's a way to keep the lights on. See if you hold, press and hold the button. I don't know if they have that. Like the diamond select, if you press and hold the button, it'll stay on. I think it's still gonna be the same, but. You can see the, again, I don't want her to fall off the base. So she can come around. I like that the lights stay lit for a while. So let's bring her around. Show you guys a head on view. So the top, like I said, I think the top is gorgeous. I just wish that they would have put the, um, that they would have finished the job. Raise the shield. I'll do is we'll do a, um, a comparison video we're gonna do the first issue of this and this came and I think the first one was 1993 and um, there was no stand or anything it was just the ship itself and I'll we'll do a comparison with this video because I don't know if they had um, the phaser array on the bottom I, I, I think they did but I'm not sure I don't know if they would have changed the molding I don't think they would have done that I think, uh, like I said, I think the top is gorgeous. I love the fact that they light up the B and C decks. My only questioning is, I wish that they would have finished the bottom to look like the top. I mean, there's not even the phaser array on it. And that would have been a big selling point. Um, because the top, I think, is beautiful. I think the, the phaser array, the, the brownish color that they have, it, it looks great. I think the... Um, the escape pods, let me zoom in. I think they look fantastic. Look at all the detail in those. So if you're gonna go through all that trouble and you're gonna make the windows spot on and the the escape pods and the phaser array spot on, why would you skimp on the rest of the ship? 
and, and just not finish the bottom. But that's just my opinion. I do love her. She's the Enterprise. Let's get something where we can have like a longer sound. We got the red alert. You can see the bottom of the ship. And this will be a nice way to check out the base. to doing the models and stuff I usually put just advertisement paper to protect um, the deck <laughs> not the deck the, uh, the desk but this will show up a lot better for you guys to see what the uh, the base actually looks like a little more pleasing to the eye the background checking out the base so the base itself is clear acrylic, uh, clear acrylic and it has the Delta logo I love the, uh, the clearness. The old one that they had of the last release, it was actually gold and silver, and it had the insignia, and it had the little bars out on the side. So my friends, this is the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. I like the little addition of lighting up B and C decks. see the facade collectors and the cells light up coming down to the deflector dish and coming up to the bottom of the saucer section itself again that's the only thing I would have changed and maybe we'll do it maybe we'll do a video where I'll go ahead and I'll paint the um, all of the escape pods and we'll figure out the phaser array for the bottom of the ship so my friends thank you for watching another video and until the next video with the playmates like i said we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and possibly we'll we'll touch up and we'll do some modifications to this my friends thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon engage